Hey, what's up guys? Little Man with a Big Opinion here. Today's video, I got the whiteboard set up behind me, uh, mostly to remember prices, because with the giant glare from my one light in here, and the fact that I use the front camera, um, I'm pretty sure everything that you can see back there is going to be backwards for you guys anyway. But, made a Walmart run, spent roughly a hundred dollars um i was shooting for a hundred dollars uh but if you can't see the grand total down there ended up being 104.93 and it's partially due because of taxes and my math skills are not fantastic but i got a decent haul of um prepping supplies sitting here in front of me and i just want to go through what I purchased, kind of, th there wasn't a thought process in this. Um, I went after stuff that I either haven't seen in a while, some of it was on sale, um, and I just kind of tried to grab a wide variety of different things. Uh, not everything about prepping is going to go your way financially, and so you'd be surprised at just the little amount of stuff that I picked, how quickly it can add up as you just randomly purchase prepping stuff and get some sort of spreadsheet going and you realize your um, extra spending money that you throw into Walmart can go a long way. So, first things first, picked up another package of socks. It was a 12 pack, as you can see I've already broken into them. Um, I'm working on the footage for the next bushcraft episode, and these socks had a nice thickness to them for, um, wearing either my combat boots or my hiking shoes, um, and they were some of the cheaper, but still had nice, uh, thickness to them. Pretty sure I spent like ten dollars on those. Yeah, pack of twelve for ten bucks. Um, I'll probably take five or six of those pairs and stick them inside of a Ziploc inside of a tote, just so I don't blow through all of those socks and they, you know, some of them get lost in the dryer, um, and then I end up having to buy more socks later. But next thing on the list. I bought two different brands of this isopropyl alcohol, both 91%, both for $2. Um, I grabbed this one first, kind of forgot I had it. Uh, this was a 16 ounce, but grabbed two bottles of it. Um, this was originally the biggest bottle I saw at 16.9 ounces. Um, and then I grabbed this one and I kind of forgot to put the other one back, uh, but it's fine. Got a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. So, as you can see, I've got foot care under the way and a little bit of clothing, and I grabbed some stuff to add to the medical supplies. Um, the next thing I picked up was two different containers of ammunition. Uh, the 22 I spent $6 on, mainly because I haven't seen 22 at Walmart in a long time. Um, and I haven't seen 3030 in a very, very long time. Like, I've kind of seen 22 back when it was still at like the 8 to $9 for a box of 50. Um, but at the $6 price, I was willing to pick up one box. And deer season is approaching. So I figured I'd grab another box of 3030. Uh, it was a 170 grain brass case. Um, and so I might use a 3030 for deer hunting this year. Or I, I really don't know what I'm going to use. PPU. This Monarch brand. Um, they're like a wholesaler. They buy up a bunch of ammo from a bunch of different people and then repackage it. But 
picked up some ammo. Next, we picked up some, okay, and the, the 3030 was like $27.99 for that. Then this five pound bag of rice was on sale for $3, so you can never go wrong with having rice. And I picked up some noodles. This was also on sale for a dollar. Um, I believe it was on sale because they said it was going to expire soon. I don't know why this one was there because it says expires December 8th, 2022. But hey, I'm not arguing about spending a dollar on 20 ounces of noodles. Let's get that out of the way. Um, the biggest ticket item, I say biggest ticket, but I picked up another one of these. Um, I think this one's six, yeah, six gallon water container. That was like 1288 or something. I just wrote 12, but I think it was almost 13, which messes with my math. Another thing of toilet paper. This is the cheapest stuff you can get. It's 150 uh, sheets per roll of two ply, but this stuff is either 58 or 68 cents. And honestly, when I normally go, I grab three or four of those at a time. Pick up one new magazine. It's a Magpul. Um, kind of grabbed this out of impulse because I haven't seen a lot of this kind of stuff in Walmart recently. But this thing was $14.99 or $15.99, one of the two. And picked up a, it was like an 18 ounce size of the powdered milk. I already had the jar, but for numbers sake, I added 99 cents because they did sell some jars um, independently or by themselves, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, but I normally buy them in the 6 or 12 pack. And the last thing I picked up was a 100 foot of rope. This is quarter inch thick by 100 foot. And its um, weight capacity is 124 pounds. So, as you can see, it's all over the place. Um, it's all stuff that will be uh, used for prepping. I'm probably going to take the six gallon um, water container out to my bushcraft shelter. I'm definitely going to use this out at the shelter because I think I've convinced myself to suspend the bed frame from that video um, instead of making wooden legs for it. So that rope would be good for that. Obviously I've been using the socks for rucking and out at the bushcraft shelter but a lot of this other stuff will probably end up sitting for a while uh, a lot of preppers say stack to the rafters and you know I might not be able to go out and spend tens of thousands of dollars on prepping supplies but on a monthly basis if you were able to drop a hundred dollars or every paycheck you spend an extra you know, 20 or $40, you'd be surprised at how quickly some of this stuff can stack up. Whole point of this video is to show that I am still prepping. Um, I'm still adding supplies, at least on a weekly basis. Um, I don't think I can buy prepping supplies every single day, but if you ever feel like you hit a plateau, I've mentioned before, I'm sitting on about 18 months worth of a food supply. Got enough water for about 60 days if I never got any rain. Um, but if you hit a plateau, then hopefully this video will help get you over that plateau. And if you have a friend or family member that's just gotten into prepping um, and they've hit that first plateau, or maybe you've been prepping for a while and you just, you're, you're bummed out, you don't feel like, um, you're ever going to get to the point where you feel safe and comfortable and, you know, you just kind of petered out, then this video will be for you or them. But what do you think of this small haul of items? 
would you have traded them out for something else? Leave your comments down below and catch you in the next one.